you're headed out to your first day of airsoft, there's a term you might want to know. It's called minimum engagement distance. And all that simply means is you must be a certain distance away from your opponent in order to engage them with your airsoft gun. Usually it's 10 to 15 feet for indoor play and between 10 to 20 feet for outdoor play. But be sure to verify what the minimum engagement distance is at your local field prior to playing. Your airsoft gun is a high-powered tool capable of doing severe damage, which is why organized fields have set their own specific rules for maximum FPS and minimum engagement distances. Usually close quarters combat is reserved for pistols, grenades, melee weapons like rubber or plastic training knives, or the good old standby bang bang or safety kill. It's very rewarding to get a safety kill and it shows great skill and the patience and the part of those players who can achieve this. Now as a general rule of thumb, indoor FPS limits are usually around 350 feet per second and outdoor is generally 400 feet per second with no engagements under 10 feet unless clearly defined by the field and its officials. There is one other term you might want to know before heading out for a day at the airsoft field. What happens if two players shoot each other at the same time? Now if there's a dispute as to who shot first, the honorable thing to do might be to both players calling themselves out. The other option is to call a parlay. A parlay is where both players agree to retreat back a distance that they predetermined before the game. Generally 100 feet is about par for parlay. You see what I did? Par and parlay. God, I'm awesome. Everyone wants to win, nobody wants to lose. This is not life or death, it is airsoft. Respawn is just around the corner and you will live to play another game. This is our sport. Play hard, play with integrity, and spread the word.